Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies and welcome to the last Easter bonnet of 2019 and we're going to finish off with a little boy's bonnet. It's really really simple so don't be put off if you haven't made um, an Easter bonnet before because they are really really easy to do. So you can buy these Easter bonnets from lots of shops in the UK. I'm sure like um, America have got all sorts of different places that you can get them from to and around the world. Um, things like the work, sell them, pound land, bargain buys, lots of places. Um, I found some really good ones in Home Bargains, so I've used most of mine this year from there. They are really good for supplies for Easter this year. So if you have got a Home Bargains near you, then it is worth going into. So um, what I did to start with, obviously I've got the hat there. I know that Poundland and various shops also sell these eggs, but I bought mine from, again, Home Bargains. And I'll just show you the little tub that I've got. Um, they come like this, just like polystyrene type plain eggs. And all I did was paint them. OK, so I've already done that and they've been drying. And this is what I did to stand them up. OK, so I did a little makeshift box. These are just cocktail sticks and they poke straight in the bottom of the egg. Excuse my hands, I've got some um, paint still on them. I've been doing lots of DIYs. So I just painted them and then once I'd painted them, I stuck them into this box and they stand really, really well. Now the paint that I used, I just looked to see what I had. I've got this blue and this green and they're the two that I picked out. So they're all dry now on there. I also, from Home Bargains, got this um, tissue paper. This is the blue tissue paper. And I'm going to scrunch up some tissue paper and do like a bit of a, a decoration. And I'm also going to use these bunny rabbits. Do you remember we had the boy bunny rabbits? Hang on, there's one fallen off and he's over here with the bow ties on. I just thought that, sorry, the ties on. I just thought they were so cute and we've got to use those, haven't we? Because they are so gorgeous. I really love them. Right, so what we're going to do to start with is to get the tissue paper and I kind of cut it in circles. I mean, that looks a little bit more oblongy actually. But I cut it in some circles. Just draw around something that you've got, you know, a plate or tea plate or something like that and all I did um, is get the middle part with the pattern facing up push your finger in and scrunch it so it goes a little bit like you know a flower now I wouldn't say that older boys would probably want to wear this you know when they get a little bit older so I think probably for the younger ones this would be probably more ideal and what I, I did at the bottom there is just scrunch the middle bit and kind of just scrunched it round a little bit. And I've made a few of those. So we'll just assemble the hat now. I'll just take the tag off. There's the side. Um, so always, if it's got a string, make sure you know which way the, you know is front facing. And what we need to do to start with is to glue these on. Now, boys' hats are quite tricky. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Um, as I say, I've never had to actually make any before this channel, so it's all new to me. But what I'm going to do is just stick these on. And this can be adapted. This can be used for a girl's hat as well. Um, but we're going to put some of the stuff on so it's not too, too, too girly. And obviously we've got the eggs as well we're going to stick on. Just push those in. And I think the blue in it let me just grab some more glue sticks i love this blue tissue paper i think it's really cute but if you've got a little girl that loves blue as courtney did when courtney was um growing up she always went for blue and um ebony always went for pink so i don't mean things to sound sexist when i say something that's pink for a girl and blue for a boy so i believe that you should have whatever colors you want to have but it's just giving, you know, it's just giving ideas. So these, again, these would look really cute around a little girl's hat as well. I'm hoping it doesn't look too girly. At the minute, it does, but I'm hoping it's... Um... But you see, some little boys would like that, you know, would like that look. Especially, you know, if that's kind of their thing. So it's down to the individual child, isn't it? To the sort that they want to do okay so now we've gone around with the um 
with a tissue paper. We're going to start and stick some of these eggs on. So what you could do as well, if you wanted to, is you could put some dots, some patterns, all sorts of things on them. You know, you could, you could really go to town at different kind of zigzags and, you know, loads and loads of different things. So just use your own imagination and do whatever you feel would look cool. I just thought paint these up but that's um that's a cool green isn't it that's a really nice green I'm not going to worry about a bow because I'm sure we'll um we'll cover that up at some point I've got um a Facebook page and there's some really cool photos of um the Easter hats that have been coming on there so some of them have been my design and some of are other dark designs that I've been kind of watching and and I really love them it's really nice when I inspire you guys to have a go I really love it so this is going to mess my design up here On. and then this little egg I, I didn't count how many I painted I just kind of like painted a few different sizes and thought I'll see you know when they go on and they kind of look like little Eastery eggs so we'll also put these bunny rabbits on and they stick these down really well I just love this little character I think it's so cute so we can put those on as well I'm going to kind of dot them in between I'm also going to use some of these bunny rabbits because I think, as I said to you before, I think the younger boys would be absolutely fine with this design. Uh, although it is a little bit feminine, I do think the young ones would be fine. We'll take a few of these off. I do really love Easter crafts. There's so many cool stuff that you can do. I, mean, I love Christmas crafting as well, but I just... The colours are so bright and so so pretty. I really love them. So let's stick these little bunny rabbits on. Sorry, bunny rabbit, if we've burnt your toes. But we have a little hat to make, I'm afraid. Again, this one. Put a splodge. I'll try not to burn my finger. I've, no, I've took my plaster off now, so we're all right. We're getting there now. Put a bit more on here. Oh, he's got stuck to another one. We'll change that one. That's got a bit of glow stuck there. We'll get rid of that one. And what have we got? Is this one next? That can go there. Mm, Kidok, right, so got some little stringy bits of glue we'll just get rid of those but I think that is coming on really really cute I think it looks really lovely I love the blues and the different colours all together blue and grey looks really sweet together doesn't it right by these eggs I'm going to pop one of these chicks so Poundland and Home Bargains loads of places sell these little chicks they've been around for years and years and years so we'll pop a little chick next to an egg Sometimes they come out looking a little bit flat, so you just have to primp them up a bit. Now, um, I've got in my drawer an, um, quite a large egg that I bought from Hobbycraft. And I picked that up, I would say, gosh, um, well, it would have been maybe last Easter or the Easter before. And it's quite a large egg. And I thought it looked really nice on the top of this hat. So... You could do that, or you could kind of um, make one out of paper mache. You know, if you've got like um, something that you could just do the old fashioned paper mache way and make an egg, an egg shape, you could do that if you wanted to. Or you could make some more of these small, um, like scrunchy things, and you could put a few more of those on the top, like to cover the, the top part. Uh, another thing you could do, the, um, the little like raffia we made on the, the little farmyard hat if you wanted to you could do a nest on the top of this one um so there's loads of different ideas you know that you could 
kind of adapt and, and choose. But what I've done is I've started to paint blue this large egg that I bought from um, Hobby Craft. So we're going to, if it works out, pop that on the top of the hat with some of this so it looks like you've got like a large egg. So that's just, I'm just painted that now, so I'll just let that dry. But as I say, you don't have to, to put that on. You can like adapt it and do something else, or you could just leave it plain. It wouldn't really matter too much. So I'll just stick that last little chick in place there and just let that dry. But that in itself, I think, looks really cute. I don't, you know, you wouldn't necessarily have to do anything else to that. Um, I think that looks, you know, really nice on its own. Um, but what I'm going to do is just finish painting this egg from um hobby craft and then we'll get some tissue and we'll kind of do a little display thing there on the top as well so to do the top part with this egg this is the egg that i've just painted and what you could do you could decoupage it you could write happy easter you could do like a little crack you could do um stick a little chick on it anything like that but i'm just going to leave this one plain and all I've done is I've cut out a larger circle, exactly the same way that we did the other one. And I'm sort of scrunched that round, but so the pattern is on the top. And then I'm going to glue that to the top of the hat. And this needs to be glued down really, really well. we are going to stick this egg in the middle with the glue done the same. Right, so now what I think I might do is use up these few eggs that I've got spare. So I'm just gonna stick those around the edge. And if you've got any more chicks, then they would look cool. It's kind of like a two-tier kind of effect. I think they'd look really sweet. There we go. That's it all completely finished. So I really love it. I think the top part just gives it that little bit of an extra something what you dropped My phone. Oh. there we go so there's the hat i think we should ask ebony to model it for us yeah you up for it come on and let's have a look place it on you like the farmyard one don't you yeah, that's my favorite. what way is it going there a certain way yeah there's a bow at the side but it's what? yeah that's it put it on that way this Just, way yeah <laughs> oh, that is looking beautiful. Do you reckon you could stand up? Da -da. Turn round, give us a twelve. Yay! <laughs> That's it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little Easter bonnet series, and I will see you all again soon.